Hello everyone, it's your sister Roland and all I need is a few minutes to talk about what's going on between Romeo Miller and his father Percy Miller aka Master P. So yes it continues because Master P has responded via social media. But before we get started, I just wanted to put out there because when I first did the video and I was saying um, Master P aka Percy the way that I said it, it it came off as if I, you know, I already had already sided with Romeo Miller. Probably did. But now I have both sides, so I just wanted to apologize. I don't want anybody to think yeah, I was very biased on that part. But moving on. So, yes, um, Master P responded via social media. He did explain that he only did this because he tried to reach out to Romeo and Romeo would not pick up the phone. I don't know if he probably, I'm not sure if they live in the same city, if he probably tried to went to his house and he, you know, he didn't open the door or whatever. But according to Master P, he tried to reach out, but Romeo, he didn't, he couldn't get in contact with him. So that is why he came to social media and he tied Romeo in the video that he did. So, if you don't know what Romeo said, I'm going to put it right here. So that's what Romeo had posted on his IG story. So now we're going to hear a snippet of what Master P posted on his IG. So only a little bit of it because you can go and listen to the whole thing on his page. But I'm going to take like an important part that I want to do commentary on. Today is a sad day because I got to get out of character and put this on the internet, which I don't want to do. But I try to call my son. People say, why you call? I did. He don't call back. It's been months. So my question is to Romeo, like if you've been in the business for long as you've been in and you're a 30 something year old man, and if you've been around me, watching me hustle and do my thing, why are you not where you want to be at? Because that means you're not listening. That means you want to do your own thing. You done brought your own circle, your own circle of people, but you can't get mad at me because I really thought this was about, the only reason I entertain this on social media, I thought it was about the DJ Twitch, uh, post that I put up and I thought it was about my daughter's death. I thought you was grieving. Mental illness is, is real. But I want to tell all the people out there that just don't understand how bad my heart hurt. Romeo lost a sister, but I lost a daughter. And for any parent that's going through this, because I know that it bring people closer together or it tear them apart. But I come from nothing, y'all. And I could go back. I'm cool with it. I won't be angry at God. I won't be upset. I won't go get mad and, and be disrespectful to my parents and none of that stuff. I just say, Dad, thank you for putting me in this world not to get out and hustle and go do my thing. But that's the problem. When you take kids and you, you kind of like uh, protect them from the real struggle and the pain and you don't allow them to deal with their own consequences. And then when they grow older, they, oh, you never gave me nothing. At 30 something, man, people could go back and look, you've been shining for a long time, son. Child, that was more than a snippet, but I just wanted to give context because I wanted you guys to hear Master P, you know, explain that he tried to reach out to Romeo, his son, and he couldn't get in contact with him. And plus the important part where he said that, um, you know, we as parents, most of the time we try to take the struggle and the consequences from our children. Because, you know, as parents, we don't want them to go the same thing that they we went through and stuff like that. But then I've always said that when we do this, we most of the time, the majority of the time we get ungrateful kids. We get entitled kids. We get lazy kids, prideful kids and all and all of the above and even more. So sometimes it doesn't help. But even before I start my commentary, obviously both of these men are hurting. They're hurting. There are things that happen that they're hurting. And then this is the one of the examples. Sometimes people don't have that safe place to, um, <clears throat> to express themselves, to say, you know, this is how I'm feeling. This is what you did that I didn't like uh, or whatever it may be. Because I could see that on this part, 
you know, the way Romeo went about doing it, going on social media, that was wrong. Because no matter how old you are, you're supposed, to, you're, you're supposed to still give your parents respect. No matter how, I don't care if you're 50 years old and your parents is, are, is 80, 80, 85, you still, they still deserve your respect. And then I could also uh, um, look on the other hand, okay, maybe he has tried to speak to his father and then his father probably, you know, didn't have the time or didn't think it was important. I could also look at that aspect. That could be an aspect too. Maybe that's why he did not reach out and he went. But at the end of the day, no matter what, you always supposed to try to put your maximum effort to reach out to the people that you love instead of going to social media. Social media should never be. Because when we didn't have social media, what we used to do? You oh, stop talking to each other. But we didn't have social media to run to and run to. That 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 I I don't agree with. You have something going on in your family, leave it in the family. It should not be on social media. People in social media should not have done. Somebody might have somebody outside might have leaked it, but it shouldn't have um this shouldn't have been on social media at all. And where Master P said that, you know, um, when you take the consequences and the struggle from your um, children, you know, you, you they come, some of them uh, boldly come and tell you, say, you did nothing for me because you did everything for them. You made life so comfortable for them. You, you did not give them the struggle that you have. Why you got to where you were at because you, nobody ever gave you anything. So you had to work hard. You had to work. You were hungry. And sometimes we, it's nothing wrong with giving your kids a head start. It's nothing wrong with that, giving them a hand up or whatever. But the, where we drop the ball is that we don't give them the struggle or we don't tell them. We don't continuously tell them, then you know, this is what I went through. This is what I, uh, uh, I had to go through to get here and stuff like this is all the things that I went through, all the no's and all the closed doors. We don't constantly tell them that. That's what God had told the people of the people of Israel. Before all they fell in all that foolishness, God told them every time you're walking with your children, you're walking on the road, you're doing stuff. You constantly tell them about what God did for them, how God took them out of Egypt, how God did this and how to go. Never, ever let them forget because especially when they're younger, that is the time because they are at an impressionable age. So so anything you tell them, you, it stays with them. You remember, it's a lot of things that you remember, a lot of habits that you have, a lot of actions that you have, what you saw it when you were younger, some, or something something somebody told you that stays with you, that keeps you going or discourages or you or whatever. You heard it when you were at a young age, at a young age. So that's why God told them to constantly do it, but they did not do that. That's why, you know, they... Um, a lot of them, the younger generation, fell into certain stuff they had no business doing because they did not have that foundation. They did not have that foundation. So this is where we drop the ball. We do not give our children, we do not give our children a struggle. Sometimes you have to let them struggle. And sometimes you have to constantly remind them that, hey, we was, especially if you came from nothing, Especially if you came from that, you had to work hard to get where you are. You cannot, if you have children, you can't, they cannot, they have to know where you came from. They have to know their foundation. Because many of us got to where we got because we were hungry. Because we had nothing. We, uh, um, we had a struggle. That's what's kept us, um, kept us going. But most of the time, our kids, sometimes we make it so easy for our children. That's why they don't respect you. And then they sometimes they take things for granted. They don't know the value of things. Most of us too. Why we are hit where we at? Because somebody told you that you was never gonna be anything, and then all your whole life has been based on that one statement, and you wanted to prove that person or those persons wrong. But sometimes our children don't even have that. We don't. They don't have that. They don't. And that's where we drop the ball. Nothing's wrong with giving your children a hard head start. Children. We, if we can give our kids a head start, that would be so awesome. But then don't forget to give them that struggle also. And then we need to have safe places so that we can express ourselves. Because you may think that, oh, look how he went and disrespect his dad on um, social media and stuff like that. We don't know. Maybe he tried to, you know, speak to his father uh, on the different things that was going on. 
Maybe his father didn't have any time. Or maybe he didn't even know how to articulate. Because sometimes it's not that the person wasn't available to talk. Sometimes we don't even know how to say what's going on and what we feel inside. And sometimes these things happen too. Uh, um, and this is a, another thing we really need to be careful about. You know, when we have our kids are smaller, they we are like our, their heroes. They look up to us. And then something happens when they get into those teenage years. Some, sometimes it happens in teenage years. And then there's a divide. And then you see mothers and daughters, they don't get along. Fathers and sons, they don't get along. Something's happened. We have to stay on top of these things. And sometimes it could be just by talking to the wrong person. You know, this is what happened when I was growing up and stuff like that. And then the person misinterpret those actions that your parents did and say, oh, my parent didn't do that. My grandma didn't do this. My grandfather didn't do that. That's your grandfather. That's not my mom. That's not my dad. It's two different um, parents. And sometimes also what causes these divide in these families is comparison. Because you see this family, this dad is this way with his son. This dad is this way with his daughter. This mother is this way with her son or her daughter. And then you feel in some type of way, oh, my dad never did this. My mom never did that. But that's that's family. And then you, we are comparing ourselves and dividing ourselves with um, from highlight reels, people's highlight reels, from people highlight talks, what they say. And then we're causing the divide because your family is your family. The other person, that's a different type of family because sometimes we don't even know what's going on behind closed doors. So this is very, truly very sad. Both of these men's are, men are hurting. And as in my, uh, my title says, prayers up for both of them. I pray that this um, relationship can be mended because it's a lot of division going on in the time that we're living in. And I, um, Romeo just became a father. He's going to need his father, you know, by his side. <sighs> but I really hope it's not deteriorated to the fact that it cannot be mended anymore. But anybody who prays, if you pray, pray for um, Percy Miller and Romeo Miller. Keep them in your prayers. Keep the family in your prayers because they're still going through suddenly losing because you know if his daughter that lost her life if she was sick you know they would have prepared themselves for her demise but it was sudden it it was sudden it was all of a sudden so they still going through that and still going through other stuff that they may be going through and now it's on display for the whole social media world to see keep this family in your prayer and that's all I'd say in this situation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.